Hello and welcome back everyone. In this video, I am talking about the basics about pheromone. Okay. Now what is pheromone? What are the characteristics of the pheromone? And example. First, what is pheromone? Pheromone, it is a chemical substance. It is a chemical substance which is produced and released. Okay, produced and released by an animal and it alters the behavior of another individual of another individual of the same species this is the definition of pheromone i will again repeat pheromone is a chemical substance which is produced as well as released by an animal and alters the behavior of another individual of the same species okay now what are the characteristics of the pheromone pheromones are known as are also known as ecto hormones why called ecto hormones because they are secreted outside the body okay they are secreted outside the body and influence the behavior of another individual of the same species why ecto hormones because this is secreted outside the body Number two, pheromones are species specific in nature. Why species specific? Why pheromones are also known as species specific in nature? Because the action of the pheromones are limited to a particular species. not another species okay the actions are limited to a particular species not another species so species specific in nature number 3 pheromones are volatile in nature okay pheromones are of very low molecular weight that means pheromones have very low molecular weight and these are the important point and this is also the important point what is the fifth point it released in minute quantity okay minute quantity and sorry not and but it has major effect it released in minute quantity but has major effect on other members of the same species definition will also told in definition another individual of the same species released in minute quantity but it has the major effect on the other members of the same species as pheromones are act on the all members of the same species 
so it is also act as intra specific communicator this is another point you may add this is very very important act as intra specific communicator why intra specific because it acts on all the members of a particular species it doesn't work on another species members okay it only acts on the members on all the members of the same species so this is intra specific known as this is also known as the intra specific communicator okay now example one very well known example is bombicol the chemical formula of bombicol is c carbon 16 hydrogen 30 one oxygen c16 is 30o okay bombicol and this is very very important why because this is the first pheromone which is characterized chemically okay it is released by or secreted by female female silk moth okay released by female silk moth bombyx mori silk moth scientific name is bombyx mori and act on acts on it actually act act as sex pheromone actually act as sex pheromone it is bombicol it is actually the sex pheromone which is released by female silk moth and acts on male sorry male silk moth to attract okay bombicol it is a sex pheromone secreted by the female silk moth and act on male silk moth to attract as it is a sex pheromone okay so this is important why important because this is the first pheromone which is characterized chemically right and i'll i have already told that this is act as the this is also the sex pheromone okay so that's all about the pheromone and its characters and example if you like this video please like share and subscribe my channel thank you very much